Hey everyone, welcome to the Element Pack Pro Widget Tutorial. In today's video, we'll be talking about the Hashlink extension, what it is, and how it works. So, let's dive in. Before we dive into what the Hashlink does, let's head over to the Element Pack Pro dashboard, click on the Extensions tab, and toggle on the Hashlink switcher. Don't forget to save your settings. Once you've done that, you'll be able to start using this awesome feature. Now, let's navigate to one of the pages where we will be utilizing this feature. The hash link generates clickable anchor links for the headings within the page by modifying the original URL. This modified link takes the user directly to the specific section of the landing page where the hash link was created. We could call this feature a bookmark. To demonstrate, just click on the page settings icon located at the bottom left corner of the page. Look for the hash link option within the settings tab and click on it. Then simply turn on the switcher. In the menu, you'll see several options. The container class field allows you to assign a custom class to the headings that will have the hash link. To avoid conflicts, you can add a unique class. Then copy and paste that class code into the section settings under the CSS classes field. This will ensure that the hash link feature only works on the selected section container. Without the class, it will work on the entire page. Now for the page, we have three H2 headings where we want the hash link. Let's go back to the page settings. Click on the selector option under the hash link and select your target heading tags. We are going with H2 here. Additionally, you can assign a custom heading text color and hover color to highlight them from the rest. Now let's update the page and see it in the preview mode. Now you can see that the headings have a different color, which we added using the hash link option. When you click on a title, it adds a hash link to the original URL of the page by modifying it. If you click on another hash link, the anchor will change accordingly. However, since we limited this feature to the container, the other headings remain static and won't generate a hash link. So, if someone copies and opens the modified link on their browser, they'll be taken directly to that specific section of the page instead of having to scroll down from the top. That's how you use the hash link feature to enhance your user experience. That's it for now. I hope this video was useful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on new tutorials and tips. Take care and see you next time.